Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So people say SEO is changing all the time, but uh, basics remain the same. So if we're talking about the Google factors, still, at least in my opinion, the three most important Google ranking factors are backlinks, the content itself, and domain slash topical authority. And yes, SEO is getting more and more competitive, and with the ascent of AI, it's become more and more difficult to rank your content. That's why it is important to look at secondary metrics that are becoming even more important with each day. And I'm talking about these two. Uh, these two are UX, user experience, and EEAT. The problem, the main problem with these two is that those are composite indexes and uh, these are not single metrics. So if we, if we are talking about the user experience, this could be bounce rate, time and page, whether the article serves the search intent well or not. And when it comes to EAT, it may mean many things. So a lot of signals, you need to have your author box or personas ready. You need to have uh, outside backlinks uh, that support your authoritativeness. So as featured on, for example, or different uh, high authority websites linking back to you. Social media profiles, but also two things that I think we don't do enough, which are content freshness and the language itself we use in the articles. So I came across these two articles here. Uh, the first one is How Updating Your Old Content Can Help With Your Rankings by Neil Patel. And I don't necessarily uh, read a lot of Neil Patel's work, but I think uh, this is a solid article. I even I don't know how many words this is, uh, but the conclusion is loud and clear. So here he goes on to um, talk about a few articles that they uh, have updated. And the conclusion is, if you want to boost your SEO, look no further than updating your old content. This is one of many often overlooked content marketing strategies. This is a perfect way to increase the traffic your website gets from search engines and is guaranteed to make a huge improvement in how well your content ranks. Okay, and then uh, this is Backlinko. The article is called EEAT, what's it called again? Yeah. It's called Understanding and Demonstrating Google EEAT a Complete Guide, and it's been updated in September, so it's very recent. And I like this part here, which is how to improve your EEAT. But first, they talk about is EEAT a ranking factor? Not exactly. EEAT isn't a single metric that can be measured by SEO and Google. This means that EEAT isn't used as a direct ranking factor by Google. However, a site's EEAT signals do contribute towards other ranking factors. And then they go on to talk about uh, how to improve your EEAT through internal linking, through collaborating with experts, addressing content gaps or knowledge gaps, mixing up your content types using schemas. And yeah, here is keep your content fresh. You should regularly add new content to your site to show Google that your site is well maintained. It also demonstrates EEAT as it shows you constantly have new knowledge to provide about a topic. So I thought I would combine the EEAT and content freshness. And this is a new workflow I am implementing right now. And I would like to uh, kind of break it up in two parts. So the first part is going to be how to create content that has uh, EEAT signals. And we're going to be using uh, free and paid tools. So for a free tool, I'll go to Claude, and this is my prompt. Uh, and it passes AI detection as well. Uh, generate a 2,000 word article about how to avoid AI content detection using markdown formatting, bolded words, lists, and tables, and quotes. Include at least two tables. Make sure to write content that is informative, engaging, and relevant to the topic of the article. Make sure the content is well written and easy to read. Structure the content in a logical way, blah, blah, blah. And this is the most important part, uh, right from the perspective of Vlad Ivanov, this is me, the owner of the Worst Scale YouTube channel. I have been an authority on AI detection since the inception of ChatGPT, with numerous YouTube videos and blog posts going viral. Proceed to the introduction with a key takeaway section. So I'm not a huge fan of huge prompts, and there are a lot of YouTubers that will show you prompts that are like the full A4 page. And in my experience, uh, nor ChatGPT, neither Claude follow those huge prompts very well. So I like these shorter prompts. This is just what's working for me. And this is the article that has been written, How to Avoid Constant Action. This is the key takeaways. And look here. So this is the first paragraph. The rise of AI generative text models like ChatGPT has made AI constant detection a hot topic. As the owner of the Words of Scale YouTube channel and the authority on AI detection, I have received many questions about how 
to avoid getting caught by AI detection tools. In this article, I will share my top tips to evading AI detection based on my extensive research and experimentation in this emerging field. So look, this is just amazing and beautiful. This is this has uh, EEAT written all over it. And I will uh, use the link to my YouTube channel. This is what I'm going to experiment with. So from now on, uh, on, on my uh, trickpinot.ai website, I will try to include my um, worst of scale YouTube channel link in every article. And this is still going on. And so uh, this is some kind of gibberish. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, this is using the quotes. Nice. Reading level analysis and disfluency detection seems best way to flush out fake text generation. This is a quote. Apparently, this is a quote by Elon Musk. So this is the article. Uh, if I were to create a self-sufficient article, I would have uh, either broken it up into sections. So I would have said uh, write part one of three, for example. Let's actually test that. Now, write part one of three. And this way, it usually generates a longer article. But we'll still see if it gives uh, those EAT signals referenced back to me. Again, as the owner of the popular Words of Scale YouTube channel and a long time authority on AI console detection, I received complex questions about how to avoid getting caught by latest AI tools. So, again, plot is rephrasing, so it's not using um, a copy pasted version of my description. Uh, so you can be rest assured that every article is going to be somewhat unique. So it's not going to be duplicate content. And this is uh, when I want to write something from scratch. Next, and this is another workflow that I'm using right now. I'll go to uh, Agility Writer. So people who follow my channel know that I have two AI tools that I'm recommending, which is Agility Writer and SEO Writing. And guys, please stop asking me uh, to decide between the two. They're different. So Agility Writer is by far the most robust AI writing tool. It doesn't do uh, keyword research, for example, but it doesn't need to. So it has a lot of features, like amazing internal linking, external linking, images, uh, bulk generation, SEO optimization. And now it has custom prompts. So uh, since everybody is using the same AI tools pretty much, you need to stand out. And one of the ways to do that is through custom prompting. And not all of the tools have that. And SEO writing I use for bulk generation. I use it for the UX. I use it for the uh, unparalleled and on-par on-page SEO. And I use it for images. So images in SEO writing are better than those of Agility Writer. But back to Agility Writers. Either use advanced mode or optimized mode. I'll use advanced mode here. And let me uh, write the same article. So how to avoid AI constant detection. Then you have this custom instruction thingy. And uh, it's actually twofold. So first, you can navigate your outline, which is great. So you can mention certain things that you, you want to be in the outline. This uh, part here should apply to every heading. So I'm just saying make sure to write content that is informative, engaging, and relevant. And then you need to create your outline. And this is the outline. So now if you go to set power up guides, you can have custom instructions that apply to certain headings. And I uh, want the introduction. So the prompt that I'm putting here is this. Include the author of Vlad Ivanov, the owner of Worst Scale. In the introduction, mention he has been an authority on AI detection. Add a link in HTML format. Use Worst Scale as anchor text. Then we save the settings and we add to writing queue. And I won't be doing that since I've done this before. So this is one of my generations. So this one here, for example. And as you can see, this is the intro. Welcome to an insightful journey led by me, Vladimir for Words of Scale, on how to avoid AI constant detection. Over the years, as a leading authority on AI detection, making countless YouTube videos, many of which can be found on Words of Scale, I've closely followed trends around ChatGPT since its inception. So this is a perfect EEAT signal that has my YouTube channel as a hyperlink. Let's just check that. Yeah, correct. And from now on, when uh, generating new articles through uh, Agility Writer, I will be using this prompt here. Now let's talk about rewriting all content. So it will serve again two things. You will add EAAT signals uh, and then you will refresh your content. So let's go to my website, for example. And let's choose uh, this article here. There are two things you can do. So the quick way would be to 
rewrite the below introduction by including the author and then we'll just paste in the intro and this is the intro here is a rewritten introduction and we'll have to use markdown formatting to see if the hyperlinking worked okay according to a detection expert words of scale artificial artificial intelligence has been on the rise in recent years blah 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 uh, the model was created by a researcher Vladimirov, <laughs> which is not true, but you get the point. So the first part uh, is correct. And if you don't like what you see, if you don't think this is uh, very relevant to the article itself, you can still keep this prompt, but instead of uh, rewriting the uh, small paragraph, you just copy the whole thing, uh, which I think I'm ranking number one for, at least I was. I don't need the FAQs, I don't think. Start a new chat, we'll paste it in. And we'll use the same prompt, rewrite the introduction of the attached article, article by including the author and blah, blah, blah. So hopefully this time around, this will give us a uh, more relevant introduction. And we don't need the key takeaways, I don't think. We just need this part here. Artificial intelligence has been on the rise in recent years with new advancements being made constantly. Blah, blah, blah. According to AI detection expert Vlad Ivanov, owner of the popular Versus Scale YouTube channel, there is a growing concern about GPT 4's ability to pass AI detection tests. So, again, rewritten just the way I like it. And this is going to be different for every article, even though the prompt is the same. And this way, again, you do both. You refresh old content and you introduce the uh, new EEAT signal. That wasn't present before. And if you actually go to one of my articles, which is a agility writer review that I wrote a while ago, I have this uh, EAT signal somewhere in here, I think. Yeah. And I did that way uh, back, so a few months ago. Hi, my name is Vlad, and I'm a leading YouTuber in the AI tool space. And this is where I thought I would have a hundred subs by now, <laughs> not 16k. Ever since AI blah blah blah, and this is my um, channel. So I think this has contributed to this article ranking pretty high. Uh, go ahead and introduce the uh, EEAT signals in your articles. Do that for the newer articles and rewrite the previous articles and I'm sure you will see boosting rankings. So hope this video was helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.